welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So uh, today I'm uh, uh, just showing off uh, and recapping really um, the London Pen Club meet uh, in the UK from the 2nd of June 2018. And uh, I'm going to show you some of the pens that I took here um, to the pen club. Um, it was a very, very um, busy pen club uh, this month. Um, so, as always, uh, we uh, meet up uh, at a, a place. It's it's called the uh, Munich uh, Beer Hall. Um, the the um, uh, pub is actually called uh, Beer Schenke. Uh, and um, it is a, a well-known uh, Bavarian uh, chain of, of pubs. And um, they, they actually... Um, uh, they, they, they do some great food, uh, they also do some uh, really lovely uh, two-pint steins of lager. Um, and uh, so here's a picture of me with one of their steins, and yes, that, that is me. Um, I know a number of you have been uh, requesting pictures of me, so, uh, so there's uh, me outside and uh, me with a, with a, a two-pint stein in my hand. Um, so typically, um, our, our pen club meets, uh, it's normally between uh, midday and 3 p.m. So normally it's two to three hours worth of, uh, of pen joy. And um, we, we tend to have on sort of most months, probably around about um, 14 to 20 people uh, turn up. So um, we will normally just gather a number of these uh, long tables together and we will normally occupy on average around two long tables and uh, they will normally seat around about eight people sometimes you can squeeze maybe a couple more in at the ends uh, and sometimes we, we have people just standing up and moving around a lot um, I think the the busiest month that I've seen I've been going since uh, I believe it was July uh, 2017 and the busiest month that I've seen was, uh, I think, November or December, when we took up three tables. This month, June 2018, we took up four tables, and people were still standing up and moving around a lot. Uh, it's it was difficult. Uh, I tried to count as uh, sort of just to see sort of how many people are in attendance, and um, it was very difficult to, to to count because people were moving around a lot. Uh, but I do believe it was at least 30 potentially pushing closer to 40 because people were drifting in and out as the as we went through the, the three hour period um but uh you can see here like what well, we had some really good um discussions lots of pens out on display um and it really was a a really really um great um uh um meet up and um so so th there were a number of things um that uh um that happened so um i tried to bring a, a few new members along um one of them uh, uh ak uh, on instagram uh she is ak underscore rights and uh she came along and uh, she thoroughly enjoyed herself uh i gave her uh, she doesn't have that many pens at the moment. She has mostly Monty Grappers and, uh, and, and a few bottles of ink. So I brought her along a load of different ink samples. So I gave her 12 um, bottles of ink samples. Each had 12 milliliters of ink in. Uh, and, and they range from browns, oranges, greens. Uh, there was a uh, Akamai SBRE brown that I gave her a sample of as well. She actually makes uh, some handmade journals and um, uh, or notebooks. And this is one of the notebooks that she gave me. And uh, it's, it's a lovely handmade notebook. Now, this was prior to her getting into fountain pens. So this probably isn't deemed fountain pen friendly paper as such. But it actually um, takes fountain pens really well. So, so this is a lovely sort of like hand painted, and you have sequins here, uh, and then it's covered in this like um, like a plastic coating. Uh, really, really lovely journal uh, or notebook, and um, so sort of you can see here the, the underside or the the back side of it, um, and then there you go that's the front side you can probably see most of it more there on camera um but it, it is a really really nice journal or notebook 
and uh, she actually, it's a lined one, uh, she did write penultimate Dave in there, <laughs> so thank you uh, AK for this. Um, so it, it is just like a standard, uh, I, I guess, um, uh, refill uh, paper and notebook, but, um, but as you can see, so the penultimate Dave, uh, I can't remember what fountain pen she wrote in that, but I think that was one of my fountain pens. Um, but it actually, obviously, is pretty, pretty good there. So, so um, she has a, an Etsy site. So, uh, I will put a link to that uh, in the notes. Uh, so you can go and check out her notebooks if you like the look of these. Um, and uh, so that was really nice. So, so I, I got this lovely uh, notebook uh, in basically in exchange for the ink that I gave her. So, um, so I was really pleased about that. So, thank you, AK, for this. I'm gonna treasure this for sure. But uh, there was also lots of um, uh, photo opportunities. So, um, so here's, here's a, a few uh, photos that uh, uh, that were people uh, were taken of me uh, and uh, AK and and uh, Ali as well. Um, uh, there was also um, uh, Gary um, uh, Dapperman, uh, as he's known on Slack, and um, so he he actually put in an order for a uh, pen uh, for Franklin Christoph and uh, in the May um, pen club meet um, he pulled in a, a, a lovely ink which was um, Frank, uh, Franklin Christoph and it was um, uh, Sweet Maroon and he allowed me to take um, uh, a large sample of it and and uh, I absolutely love this ink. And I said to Gary, sort of after the meet, I said, "Look, I really love this ink. If if there's a, um, if if you ever decide to sell the bottle, let me know." And uh, he then came back to me and said, "Well, he's actually going to make a um, order to Franklin Christoph for this this pen that he wants. It's just come up for sale uh, in in the uh, stock room." So uh, would I like some ink? So I was like, yes, definitely. So so Gary actually brought this uh, Franklin Christoph Sweet Maroon ink uh, with him uh, uh, that, that I paid for. So I'm really pleased I've got this. Um, this is the 58 milliliter bottle of um, Sweet Maroon. So, uh, and you can see I've not even untaped it yet. So it is fully taped up. Um, I still have a sample uh, from Gary, so um, I, I'm going to use that up first before I actually start using this eyedropper bottle. But um, I'm really glad that I got this, so uh, uh, I'm really tempted to actually, even though I've already got one bottle, I'm really tempted to actually get another bottle. So uh, if I decide to actually order anything from Franklin Christoph in the future, or maybe if Gary or others uh, decide to put in a um, group buy or something, then maybe I'll get another bottle. Um, I also actually, um, Gary brought, uh, he brought some other ink as well. So I actually take this with me, which is um, uh, just a, a lovely um, pen pouch from uh, Rickshaw Bags. And I, I take, um, so it's basically I, I fill it with three Visconti traveling ink wells and three needles. Uh, these are blunt syringe needles. So in this one, like, these are all uh, effectively empty um, that you can see here. Um, so I always take some just in case anyone is is going to bring samples, and um, so so this is um, Franklin Christoph Spanish Blue. Um, so um, I'm going to give this a try because if I like the Sweet Maroon, there's a good chance I might like the Spanish Blue. In which case I might need to be buying a bottle of that as well. So Gary allowed me to have a sample of that as well. Uh, so thank you, Gary, for that. That's really generous. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, I was going to bring Gary some uh, uh, an ink sample of um, Akiman SBRE Brown, but I forgot with everything that I was trying to bring. So um, I, I sent him a note and uh, said, look, here is the list of my ink, which is actually available on penultimatedave.com. Um, and uh, I said to him, that if there's any ink there you want, just let me know which ink and I'll bring it uh, on the uh, next pen meet. So uh, so he, he has a, a huge amount of ink, over 200 bottles there to choose from. So uh, so I'll, I'll be given, uh, hopefully be giving Gary a, a load of samples uh, next month as well. So Gary, choose whatever you want. So so that was really good. So that was another, another ink that I brought. Um, now there is... Um, if I can find it here, let me just move this tray out. Um, some of you may remember uh, or may have seen my video 
on um, creating my um, own shimmer inks or glitter inks and um, I'll put a link up to that as well um, but but these are some of the inks I made on this video so this is the um, uh, these are made out of normal inks and uh, this is Lamy blue with gold shimmer uh, and Lamy green with gold shimmer and this is Diamine Earl Grey with gold shimmer and Fire and Ice with a Sapphire Blue Shimmer and Apache Sunset with Gold Shimmer. So um, I've just done a writing sample. So I took these along with me and these were a real hit. So you can see here that if I try to angle, you can see the amount of Gold Shimmer or, or in Fire and Ice, it's a more of a bluey Sapphire Shimmer. But that is just amazing. So I, I showed these around and, and I allowed people to, to test and write with these. And everybody that tested these were amazed by just how much glitter was there. Um, so uh, I even offered up a number of samples uh, to Daniel. Uh, uh, I'll bring um, uh, a sample vial. He wanted a uh, diamine Earl Grey gold because he loves Earl Grey. Um, and uh, I was also showing Joe as well. So Joe came along. She's one of the owners or co-owners of uh, Bureau Direct, and uh, um, she was loving that. Mishka loved this as well. Um, so as I mentioned, like this was a a bumper turnout of around thirty to forty people. Now partly like part of that was because of a number of us actually brought some new people in um, to the club. Um, that have never been before and um, I believe Joe hasn't been or at least not since I've been there since last July uh, and there were a number of other uh, new people as well from um, uh, Bureau Direct that came as well mainly because it was Mishka's uh, last day uh, um, uh, at the London UK Pen Club so uh, it was uh, really great to give her a good send off um, and uh, she also brought a few people as well. So she brought um, the the folks from KWZ uh, is Conrad and I forget his wife's name, so I apologise for that. Um, but they were really great. Uh, I got to show them uh, a load of uh, my Viscontis. They were able to test them and and uh, um, photograph them, and they really liked that. Um, and uh, th there were um, uh, other people that came as well. So there was a uh, Ray from uh, Vintage uh, and Modern Pens, and Ray does the um, the uh, pen show circuits in the UK, and um, he has a lot of lovely pens, just like Sarge does. Uh, so he has um, a lot of Omos's, Arcos, Pelicans, and lovely pens like that, Grail pens. So he came, and I, I managed to sit down with uh, Ray, and uh, he was amazed at the turnout and, and really, really loved it. Uh, and uh, he said he, he will definitely try and make it to, to future pen club meets as well. So it was really great to sit down with Ray. Uh, and he's offered to send me a, a number of uh, Omos's to, to have a look at and try and uh, see if I'm interested in. So um, so uh, thanks, Ray, for that as well. It was really great meeting up with you. I'd met up with Ray um, a few times before. I've seen him at the pen shows. And uh, I've actually bought a pen uh, from Ray in the past. So it was great meeting up with him again and uh, be being able to, to talk pens, basically, and see some of the wonderful pens that, that, that he uh, um, uh, has uh, um, available for sale. So uh, it was a really, really lovely um, uh, pen club meet. And uh, I, I know AK was a little bit overwhelmed with, with the amount of pens that, that she was able to try. Like I brought a huge amount of pens. It was uh, just over 40 pens that I brought with me. Uh, I think she got in the end to test about uh, tw probably about 24, 26 of them. Uh, and um, uh, she got to test a load more pens as well. Uh, it, it was a really, really good club meet. I got to test a load of pens as well. Um, so Rupert brought his uh, Penida avatar, and this is a lovely, lovely pen. So I, I was really glad to be able to test that. So thanks, uh, Rupert, for bringing that. Um, it really makes me now think that I want to get a Penida Um I do like the 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 look and the weight of the avatars. Uh, I think I'd prefer the um, Belitza, uh, the Grand Belitza, but um, I'm still not too sure about the um, hourglass section on those. But um, uh, but 
I don't know, I guess I will see, uh, it's certainly a pen that I will be looking at in the near future, um, and uh, so yeah, it was a really, really good pen club meet, now, um, before I actually show you some of the pens that, that I brought with me, um, let me show you something else, uh, Mishka, um, she's basically emigrating, unfortunately, um, for us anyway, um, I'm, so, I'm sure it's great for you, Mishka, um, but, um, and it's gonna be a great experience as well, but, um, but she had to get rid of a whole load of, um, ink bottles, um, that she couldn't take with her, so she was offering them up for sale at ridiculously cheap prices, um, and uh, I picked up a number of bottles uh, from Mishka. So I, I picked up a uh, Mont Blanc uh, Toffee Brown, which was a, a lovely, lovely ink. And these are all pretty much full bottles of ink. I, I thought they would be half used, to be honest. Um, uh, Pelican um, yeah, Edelstein Aquamarine. Uh, so I thought I'll, I'll pick that up as well. Um, there was a, um, a Roar and Klinger. Uh, Blue Mare. Now, this is something that a number of people said to me I have to get. And today I just never bought it. So I thought, well, uh, okay, I'll, I'll get that. And um, so, so really, there, there were only, a, like, I think probably a couple of inks in the end. Like, the, I think there were about four or five inks I said to Mishka, look, hey, I'd really like these inks um, if, if they're still available. And she said, well, uh, some of them have gone, but there's a couple still left, so you can have those. Uh, and I said, well, look, if there's any other inks available at the end, just let me know, and I'll buy them all from you. I won't take all of the inks. Um, I'll let other people get, get some inks. I'm not going to be greedy, but uh, if, if um, there are inks left over, then definitely um, let me know. So she also um, gave me a couple of bottles of Delta. Um, so these are uh, Delta um, uh, inks. Now, it doesn't say what, what color these are. So this one obviously is going to be a yellow ink. This one is more of a, like a, it looks like a green or greeny ink. Um, so that's going to be interesting to try. Um, and I also uh, got um, some Deatrus Mentis inks as well. And these are um, chocolate ink um, and uh, olive green. So those are going to be quite good as well. So, so that's seven inks I picked up along with the Sweet Maroon ink that I got. Uh, that I bought from Gary as well, so so that was um, uh, quite an interesting ink haul. Um, today I've never actually walked away with ink bottles from the Pen Club. I've only actually um, uh, really um, taken ink samples. Um, but then there was this also that I'm going to get and I'll show you. Mishka also said, "Hey, look, I've got a pen." <laughs> That I'm trying to sell. It's in a big heavy box. <laughs> uh, I like big heavy boxes. Uh, I don't need more ink and I don't need more pens. But like Mishka said, look, I really need to get rid of this. I don't want to um, really break this one up um, and uh, from, from the box and and just sell the pen on its own. So it needs to go to a good home. And she knew that obviously um, coming to me it would be a good home, so she was selling this as well, and she was selling it. It, it, it was a, a fairly cheap price, um, and uh, so I I said, look, okay, I'll, I'll like if if you need to get rid of it, I'll I'll buy it, no worries. Um, and um, so I picked up. This is my first Delta, and I've been looking at these for a while, and. Um, it, strangely enough, um, I I looked at this. Um, lots and lots of times and this is one of the delta federicos and i watched matt armstrong's uh, pen videos of his um federico stand tufo and i really wanted one but what put me off was the the girth and the size of the pen uh and and a lot of the controversy around delta and and the pens being sold by martin medina being so cheap and potentially knockoffs and things like that and um I, in the end, I decided not to pick one up. So um, initially, I I would have preferred the black and orange one, but this is the the orange and white. But to be honest, I love this even more now now that I've seen it in person. So this is a lovely, lovely pen, uh, and uh, it comes in a um, uh, with a Delta ink as well. Uh, I don't know, that's a blue Delta blue ink there. So. Um, I'll do uh, a proper unboxing video of that um, in in the days to come as well, but um, that was something else that I managed to um, pick up. So I actually 
came back with more than what I took. <laughs> um, so it really, really was a um, stunning of a month. Um, uh, I also got to try a number of other um, pens as well. So uh, AK brought a number of Monty Grappers. So there was the, um, the Silver Mule that I got to test, which was really nice. Uh, and also the uh, Monty Grappa uh, Mosaic. Um, I also got to test a, a couple of other um, smaller uh, pens. And um, there was uh, this pen here. And I'm just looking at my notes just to see what pen this was. Um, so this, this small pen uh, was called the Pen Titan. Titan short for titanium. And it was a um, Kickstarter pen. Um, and uh, so that was uh, an interesting pen. I don't normally like small pens, but um, as you can see, this is small compared next to a Twisby Diamond 580 AL. So that is a really, really small pen. Uh, th there were quite a lot of pens to, to try, and uh, so what I'll do, I'll show you just a few, well, I'll show you all of the pens that, that I took with me. Um, and... Uh, these are uh, the first uh, 10 pens. So you would have seen some of these um, on my currently inked, because obviously these are all inked, because I'm, I'm taking them to the pen club. So uh, I'll just go over these very briefly. These are the uh, Visconti Watermark in a medium nib, the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico, uh, that's a medium nib, a Visconti Speakeasy in a medium nib, and um, uh, that it, it's a very, very large pen. Um, uh, the Visconti Opera Master Crimson Tide, which is always a favourite of people. Um, Daniel really liked the River Thames, and he's seriously thinking of buying one. So he wanted to try this again, uh, so I, I brought that along with me. Um, the... Um, Visconti Opera Master Luna from Goulet Pens. Um, I, a lot of people really liked this pen at the pen club and seriously thinking of buying one uh, themselves. Uh, the Visconti Opera Silver Dust, which is a lovely, stunning pen. The Visconti Belgica, uh, and that's a, a lovely gold overlay there of, uh, of the uh, crown and lion. Now, this is a Mackier uh, lacquer, lacquered pen, and this is the Visconti Luxor. Uh, lots of uh, Egyptian hieroglyphs there. And the Visconti Camelot, which is always a, a favourite of anyone that, that tries this pen. And this is a second uh, set of 10 pens. So I, I took a lot of Homo sapiens with me. So I took the uh, Visconti Homo sapiens London Fog. The Homo sapiens Florentine Hills, which is very similar to the London Fog, uh, it's just it has green swirls. Uh, I, I took the Chiantashire, again this is a Homo sapiens, you can tell by the, the two rings, normally that's what denotes uh, a Homo sapiens. Uh, I took the uh, Caput Mundi, which is a, a lovely stunning sort of semi-opaque uh, um, uh, red demonstrator. I took the Jade, which is, again, semi-opaque uh, demonstrator, green version, and it comes with a MyPen uh, dual finial of, of a Jade gemstone. The uh, Lava Edition, Bronze Age, um, which uh, it, it's not a limited edition, but um, it's, it is a stunning pen. Um, quite heavy um, for what it is. Um, it's made of basaltic lava. Uh, with resin, mixed with resin, and then here's another one, uh, another bronze, but this is actually hand painted with uh, an airbrush by Claudio Marzi, uh, or Marzi, and um, this is the Dark Age version of the 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 um, uh, the, the lava edition. These are all oversized pens, and then these two here, these are uh, um, uh, basically made of marble, uh, and these are the Millionaire versions. Uh, Visconti Millionaire. So this is the green one, and then this is the honey one, and uh, I really love both of these. Um, 
they are pistons, but they're push-pull pistons. Um, and they also come with rollable uh, attachments as well. So you can swap the rollables out if you want to. And then these were the third set of 10 pens I'd taken. So, so this is now 30 pens that you, you see here. Um, and um, from left to right here, we have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani 90 in that stacked, lovely stacked coin celluloid there. It absolutely pops uh, when, when the light actually shines on it. And then we have the, the second version of this, which is the octagonal. Uh, and again, this is a lovely pen, uh, but it's got an octagonal shape to it, faceted shape, uh, but still stunner, stunner of a pen. Uh, and then my stack celluloid in a Wall Street. Um, so, so this is the um, uh, again, it's it's a grey or platinum um, silver version. Um, uh, now these come in red, blues, green um, stack celluloid versions. So this is the the grey version. And then I took my Davina Metropolitan, um, which is a smaller version of the pen, but. Uh, um, and obviously you have the silver rods that, that go through the Davina. But this is a lovely pen as well that I really love. That's a broad nib. Um, uh, the Corsani 90 has a 1.3 stub. Um, the octagonal abroad, uh, and this is a 1.3 stub in the Wall Street. And then abroad in the um, uh, Metropolit Davina Metropolitan there. Uh, this has an 18 karat gold uh, medium nib. This is the uh, Visconti Di Carli uh, Palazzo. I have a, a video review of this up as well, um, so go check that out if you want to. Uh, there's the Visconti Voyager Honey Almond. I think the, the full title is a Visconti Voyager Calido Honey Almond. Um, so that, that's a, a lovely, lovely pen. Uh, the Classic Pens LM1 in a flame red. We have the Classic Pens LB5 in the, the brown Kauseki. And that is lovely. I, uh, I should have some reviews up of those very soon. Uh, and then we have, if I can get it out, the um, uh, this is the Armando Simboni Club uh, Bologna Extra Arco. Um, and and this is a lovely lovely pen so um i i have a review up of that um so check that out uh, and also the um ogiva um from armando simone club so i took those uh these two were the only ones that weren't inked that, that i i took with me and then here's the uh final set of pens so so this is uh, what pens 31 to 41 so there's an extra pen here on top so uh, from left to right I have the Pelican uh, M600 turquoise white we have the M800 uh, Renaissance brown uh, the M800 uh, vibrant blue we have the M800 Ocean Swirl, or M805, the, these two are because they're silver trims. Uh, the M800 Grand Place. The M800 Royal Gold Varden. Now, all of these uh, Pelicans are broad nibs. I love the Pelican broad nibs. Uh, and these are always inked, the Pelicans. Um, and then, as I showed you earlier on, we have... Um, these Twisby Diamond 580 ALs, and each of these have the, the various shimmer ink. So if I show you here, the shimmer ink is just amazing. Um, so that's the um, uh, Earl Grey. That previous one was the Lamy Green. And this is Fire and Ice that you can see there. And this is the Apache Sunset Gold. And then this is the Lamy uh, Blue Gold. Um, you might be able to see it there, the, the uh, gold. Um, so, so 41 pens is a, is a lot to take uh, to a pen club. Um, I, I try each month to reduce the amount of pens that I take, but I know a lot of people want to see pens, and, and I had a lot of requests to take a lot of pens with me. So um, I, I did take a lot more than I probably would would have liked to take with me um and probably more than than maybe the last two or three months but um 
it was uh, it was a pleasure to be able to take them all with me. I really do uh, like to be able to let people try the pens out because um, because that's what a pen club is is all about. And uh, I really wanted to be able to let people try the pens. A lot of people are on Instagram as well, so they like to photograph the pens, and, and um, I, I'm, I'm all for that. So uh, I, I don't mind people taking photos of my pens and posting them on Instagram or, or anywhere else. So, um, yeah, that's that was really the June meetup. So it was a cracker of a month. Um, I really enjoyed myself. I know uh, a lot of other people enjoy themselves too. Hopefully we, we've got a number of new members that will uh, be coming to the club uh, regularly. Uh, and uh, I, I um, really, really do like spending time with everybody and meeting up with them once a month. So, um, so that's our London UK Fountain Pen Club for the uh, June gathering. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll have one for the July gathering. Uh, um, we meet every, the, the first Monday, sorry, the first Saturday uh, of every month. So I believe the next one is 7th of July. Um, so um, I expect another video from me soon after that. Um, but uh, um, if you're in the area and you want to come along to the pen club, feel free to do so. Um, because it's open to everybody. There's no nothing to pay. Uh, it's a free club, and it's well worth coming along and seeing what what is available to 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 try and and uh, talk to other uh, likewise um, uh, talented fountain pen members that that really enjoy the hobby. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye. <laughs>